Slovakia is currently losing its energy sufficiency after having shut down the first unit of B1 in Jaslovské Bohunice in 2006. We now have to shut down the second unit by the end of this year. There is a risk that our power plants will not be able to cover the growing need of electricity and we will have to import it. However, the experts on energy security have confirmed it long time ago that the electricity should be generated domestically. And electricity generated in Bohunice and Mohouce is at least twice cheaper than the one from conventional power plants. One of the periods of safe and reliable electricity generation started its history 10 years ago in Mohovce. We started to build the first unit in 1981, but it was not completed until 1998. Let us go there for 10 years back. First unit reactor hall at nuclear power plant Mohovce. It is Monday the 27th of April 1998, shortly before 10 o'clock in the evening. All is prepared for the decisive completion phase at the power plant. The physical startup of the first unit starts. Based on the evaluation of the safety report and of the results from the previous stages, we issued a decision whereby we permit loading of the nuclear fuel into the reactor. It is 10.35 p.m. The container with the nuclear fuel cassettes has the last meters of the way ahead. The crane is taking the container through the hall and stops above the reactor pit. Everything is being verified, checked and measured thoroughly by a team of specialists. The thrill is at its peak. At 10.53 p.m. the container with nuclear fuel cassettes enters the reactor pit. Then the historical moments of loading the first nuclear fuel cassette into the reactor start. Special crane moves the cassette over the reactor and lets it down to the reactor itself. Physical startup of the first unit has started successfully. By loading the first cassette, the operator takes over the responsibility for the startup work, and that is what the people have been waiting for truly for 15 and even 17 years, this great moment. The first step on the way to 100% reactor output was managed perfectly in Mohovce, and the experts usually consider this very phase of the startup as extraordinarily complicated. Mohovce power plant is the last type of VVER213 from the former Soviet Union. However, the lapse of time enabled our experts to implement 87 safety improvements, including the recommendations of the International Atomic Energy Agency. And the results? Safety standards in Mohovce are the highest among all the operators of VVER type power plants. Also, the staff from Viskum Neustav Jadrovich Elektrarni largely contributed to the successful commissioning of the power plant. One very important fact was that we were able to start again even in the changed social conditions and after the traditional links to the suppliers were interrupted and to invite into cooperation the companies that had been building the power plant until then from the Russian Federation, from the Czech Republic and Slovakia but also other partners who significantly supported the purpose and credibility of this project. These were Electricité de France, Siemens and Westinghouse absolute giants in the area of energy and specifically nuclear energy. In spite of that, the Austrian government ran lobbying against the construction of Mohovce around the world. Was it because of fear? Definitely. People who did not study nuclear physics can be afraid of nuclear energy, especially in situations when they are manipulated and fed by untrue information. The task of Slovak experts was not only the completion of Mohovce at that time, but also providing the public with true information about safety-related features of this power plant. Gradually, they won the favor of professionals and public at home, but also abroad. The valuable victory came at the beginning of June in Vienna at the International Press Conference. There were 100 of foreign journalists. Most of them came being aware that in Mohovce we were commissioning the first nuclear unit in the world after the tragedy in Chernobyl. 
Based on the memorandum between Slovakia and Austria, there was a 22-member team of experts from nine countries working in Mohovce at the beginning of May 1998. Under the leadership of Austrian professor Wolfgang Krom, they wanted to ascertain the implementation of safety measures in the nuclear power plant and report the information to the government as well as Austrian public. After reviewing thoroughly the situation and technological documents, several significant nuclear experts from the whole world expressed their opinions. This deposition of the International Atomic Energy Agency, the acceptance uh, of the uh, power plant Mohovce is uh, at the hands of Nuclear Regulatory Authority of Slovakia. And I'm sure you will enjoy uh, reading the final report which will be prepared by the experts and obviously by the Austrian authorities. Thank you. Unfortunately, it did not. Negatively biased report was signed in addition to Professor Crom only by American scientist Harold Denton, although here and in front of the journalist he spoke of Mokovce in superlatives. And it's clear that substantial uh, improvements have been made to the plant in the fire protection area as well as in the regards to other external hazards. Severe breaching of the memorandum by the Austrian party brought the professional discussion to the grounds of International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna. Their analysis again confirmed that power engineers in Mohovce had written a high-profile scenario. In spite of the hot summer, Mohovce continued with the completion of the power plant. On the 4th of July, the first unit is successfully connected to the grid. The reactor runs at 17% output and starts supplying electricity to the grid. Commissioning of the first unit reactor culminated on Friday, the 28th of August, shortly after 10 o'clock a.m. The court in front of the Mokovce nuclear power plant was filled with guests, representatives of companies from six countries that participated in the completion of the power plant and by journalists. Approval of launching the first unit into trial operation was, however, made the day before. The results of physical startup tests and energetic startup tests completed until now have revealed reliable functioning of safety and regulation systems, and we can recommend the transfer to the output stage of energetic startup at 100% nominal output. Ten years in Mohovce, we said a binding yes to long term efforts for energy sufficiency of the country, and we have lived to see also the marriage of convenience. Today, Italian Enel is ready to start with the investments into Slovak power engineering engineering, which should exceed 100 billion crowns by 2013. Well, first of all, uh, we must say that uh, uh, we have uh, a very positive uh, structures uh, in Slovakia where we are uh, making nuclear since uh, 50 years, uh, when we have uh, all the competence uh, needed uh, to operate and uh, to develop uh, new plants, uh, where we have all the know-how for facing uh, so relevant uh, projects. Thank also to the improvement that has been done uh, with uh, the existing operations in these years. So we are now able uh, to face uh, these uh, new projects. Uh, we have done uh, a, a deep uh, reanalysis uh, in terms of uh, reviewing uh, all uh, the original projects uh, and we have completed a full uh, renewal of uh, the feasibility study. Uh, after uh, one year, so now we are ready to go com for uh, the development of the projects and uh, for the constructions. Our goals uh, in uh, this way is uh, to have uh, the starting of the operations uh, at the end of 2012. The fourth unit of Mokovce should be completed and put into operation in 2013. Investment costs for the whole project are planned to be 1.8 billion euro. The relevance of the projects is also reflects in terms of impact on the economy. In fact, a project of this relevance uh, will uh, request uh, an uh, application of more than 3,000 people that will work uh, with us uh, during the next uh, four years. Successful commissioning of the first unit in Mohovce 10 years ago made the Italians expand the energy map of Europe by including Slovakia. Mutual cooperation shall return to Slovakia the 70% share of nuclear energy of the total electricity production, including the impact on the national growing economy on the industry. Thanks to Mohovce, we have the basis for future development and it can add the reputation in European political structures where Mohovce or Jaslovske Bohunice do not yet have just atomic roses all the way.